Hi. I love showing my work in London, says Sarah Burton. There's so much history here at the old Naval College, and across the river is modern London. The old and the new. Somehow they survive together. No other fashion house for the spring-summer 2023 season can boast a more impressive venue for a runway show, the wide lawn of Christopher Wren's Baroque complex in Greenwich, designed around 1,700 as a naval hospital, and then used to train British naval officers. On the opposite bank of the Thames, where it makes a great loop, rise the Canary Wharf office towers. Given that both sites symbolize British power and wealth, that is, male power, it is striking that Burton's latest collection for Alexander McQueen's spring-summer 2023 was dedicated to the notion of female empowerment. Burton is one of the few female designers whose instincts and experience in fashion design I personally generally trust. If she changes anything in her design and what she proposed, was as sharp as a turn in a river eye, T should be taken into consideration. Before the pandemic, when she showed in Paris, her clothes tended to be romantic. True, she always sewed to order because McQueen himself was a genius at it but Burton's collection usually featured corsets, puffy sleeves, and jewels. Her source material was often rural Britain, its landscapes and artisan traditions of lace, knitting, and textiles. These themes still have value, and Burton might return to them someday, but given the tremendous upheaval caused by the pandemic and the Russia-Ukrainian war, as well as the new moods fueled by politics and social media, Burton was right to seize the moment. Burton is constantly connecting and reconnecting with it, which in part gives the label depth and vitality, along with her own explorations of British culture and heritage. But this season, her focus is on a younger generation of women, who have very different attitudes about clothing and sexuality, not to mention comfort. Many of them, no doubt, have never heard of the once outrageous bums, and I also suspect that they don't feel indebted to the deceased East London fashion rebel. It's their world now. But what one really wants to hear from Burton is how she understands and interprets this rapid change. That's exactly what she launched across the lawn of old Mr. Wren.
As hard as it was to take our eyes off Naomi Campbell walking down the runway, the true delight of Burton's latest collection was a series of charming embroidered looks in cheerful blues, inspired by the early Dutch artist Hieronymus Bosch. The fantastical nature scenes were hand-embroidered and seemingly threaded onto a corseted waistless dress, a bodice presented with a matching draped leather belt and boots, and a coterie suit. Each of the elements, oversized strawberries, yellow fish, blue and pink flowers, birds and bugs, were taken from three of Bosch's most famous works, The Garden of Earthly Delights, The Temptation of Saint Anthony and The Last Judgment. Multicolored and metallic threads brought each object to life, just as Bosch had done with his brush 500 years earlier. This is not the first time the house has invoked the Dutch master. For his latest collection, McQueen turned to religious iconography and created gilded otherworldly prints, consisting of Bosch's poetic angels and demons. When you look at these triptychs and paintings, they are so beautiful, Burton reflected backstage at the spring show, but if you look closely, there's a very dark narrative there. It's something we've always looked at at McQueen, life, destruction, and beauty. Thanks for your watching. Your Valerie.